Are six piston Brembo's better than the four piston Brembo's? Let's discuss it. There is no Welcome back. This is Will Hemi, and this is the Will Hemi Show. I was just online. Uh, got a little message. And, you know, uh, I didn't get a message. I was scrolling. I was scrolling. Uh, came across uh, um, Magnum Forums. One cat put some uh, big six pistons on his car on SRT. You know, easy swap. Talking about how easy it was to swap. And, and you know, couple, one of the person, one of the commenters came back and said yeah i did the swap years ago and i ain't really noticed any difference in braking power you know and stopping distance and he's actually right and it's true i've done the same thing i've had a quite a few um experiences with brake upgrades and my engineering background kind of breaks down why you don't notice an increase in or decrease in stopping distance when you go from a four piston to a six piston. Now, of course, the new six piston BR7 Brembo's look fantastic on a car. They make your car look serious. They make you look serious. When you invest in a brake upgrade, that's like, okay, this person is serious. You know, they're driving, they care about safety, they care about control. And they put big brakes on their car. So the look is the number one reason people do it. Now, I got three SRT vehicles. All three came from the factory with the four piston uh, Brembo brakes. I have subsequently upgraded all three of those vehicles with Brembo six piston brakes from the later model Hellcats and, and Scat Packs, right? I have not used the system from the uh, Trackhawk or Durango. Except for, I'll take it back. The Trackhawk uses the BR7, but the rotor's much bigger than the Hellcat rotor. I think it's, I think the, I'm, don't quote me. The Red Eye rotor is larger than the Hellcat rotor. Both of them are larger than the old SRT8 rotors. So I don't know if the, if the Trackhawk rotor is bigger than the Red Eye rotor or not. I can't remember the exact numbers, the millimeters, but needless to say, I've done all three upgrades. Now, I did my research beforehand. I had to make sure I have a cat, I have a friend out in Phoenix had, that did his 300 SRT8, the first style, the older style. He did the brake upgrade before anybody. So, I talked to him. I got the lowdown. I said, man, what did you do? You know, did you upgrade the... Uh, brake booster did you have to change the master cylinder all that no it just went right on so i said okay everything is the same now now that i know everything is the same from the brake fluid point of view from the pedal to the brake fluid to the piston everything's the same but these big six pistons work now how is that well the fact of the matter is the six pistons or the six smaller pistons that are on the six piston brake caliper add up to roughly the same amount of cylindrical volume as the two giant or the four giant four pistons that are in the four piston calipers right so you are not really uh moving any more brake fluid because if you were then your pedal would go further down it would take longer to stop the car so you're moving the same amount of fluid, you're using the same booster, you're using the same master cylinder, but you can still stop just as good. Now, it's not better, but it's just as good. That's because everything is still in balance. You're still doing the same amount of actual work. Now, the real improvement that six pistons offer over four pistons is not stopping distance. It is brake fade, you have virtually no fade street driving. I mean, you really got to be burning it up on a track to witness fade with a six-piston uh, two-piece rotor. You have less heat, which translates to less fade, and you have a little bit less wear on your rotor. 
Hellcat rotors will generally last longer than the four piston rotors if you're doing the same thing, okay? Now, Hellcats, they go a little faster, so you're going to break them a little harder. You might, you know, you can't really compare the two. I don't know of any situation where you could really compare the two vehicles. I mean, you could go old scat pack to new scat pack and see, you know, drive, mirror each other for six months. You know what I mean? Wherever one car go, the other car go. Same speed and everything, same braking, all that stuff. And we'll find out which one wears with the, uh, out of spec first. I think... My professional opinion is the four piston will wear out quicker. Why is that? Because the four piston brake pad is smaller than the six piston brake pad. So the six piston brake pad spreads out the equal amount of force. We're still dealing with the same amount of force as far as the pedal pushing, same amount of fluid, same travel, right? The smaller pad puts all that force in a smaller area. And if all things were equal, now we haven't gotten into the size of the rotor yet, but I'm just saying, if all things were equal, if the rotor was in the same place, six piston and four piston, on the as far as the same amount of distance from the hub, the four piston would press down harder on that rotor per square inch of area. You would get actually more pressure from a poor four piston over a six pistons pad. And the area, the contact patch is actually bigger with the six piston than it is with the four piston. So you will eat up more rotor sooner. If that makes any sense. Now with the six piston pad, you're spreading that brake force out. So each square inch of area or square millimeter, however you want to say it, each square unit of measure area on that pad is actually applying less pressure than the four pistons. So that way, that's how you get less heat, that's how you get less uh, brake fade, and that's how you get actually less wear on the, the uh, rotor. Now, generally speaking though, the rotor is larger on a six piston caliper. The Hellcat rotor is larger than the standard SRT8 rotor. So you're moving the whole unit, the whole uh, caliper out away from the hub. So now you got a whole lot more area. You know, the further the diameter is, the more area you got in that circle. So now you got a larger rotor, heavier too, but larger rotor with more area. So you got a bigger contact patch, but it's also away from that patch, a lot more brake material <laughs> brake rotor materials away from that patch cooling off more often faster and it's moving faster than a four piston moves around so those things kind of add up on each other and help cool the brake rotor down and keep temperatures down i've touched uh a six piston hellcat brake rotor after a drive and i've touched a four piston brake rotor after a drive that four piston rotor is usually a lot hotter even to the touch, but nevertheless, six piston rotors, now while they're applying the same force, the same total force, which is how much pressure you put on that brake pedal plus the booster, and it goes through the massive cylinder, and it's the same amount of total force, but it's spread out over a larger area, that's where you get your advantages. Your advantages are not going to come in being able to halt the car a little bit quicker. It's just going to balance itself out and make it easier to modulate that pedal. That's one thing that I've definitely noticed with the six piston is that you can apply exactly the amount of brake force you want a lot easier. It's hard to explain, but you know, as you're hitting a corner or you're, you're doing something, you want to stop so much, you don't want to stop, you don't want to fully lock the things. You just want to kind of slow down to a certain level and keep it going. With the four pistons, the distance between light application and full lock where the ABS is kicking on, it's a lot fuzzier. It's a lot harder to get that sweet spot. The sweet spot is tiny. With the six piston, the sweet spot's a little bigger. So you got more room to operate. You can give it a lot more force without locking it up, if you understand what I'm saying. Now, I have, like I said, I had 
I've, I've added these six pistons to a Magnum, to a 300, to a Jeep Cherokee SRT8 WK1. And the only difference I'm really feeling overall from the old four pistons is that initial bite is a little bit better and the modulation is much better. Now, I'm not pushing them. I'm not racing these cars. I don't race them. I drive quick, but I don't. I'm not on the brakes all the time, so I'm not really beating up on them too much. And I never get fade. Now, another thing I notice is that with the six pistons at high speed, when you gotta, like you're on a freeway doing 85 and something jumps off and you gotta really bring it down to a stop quick, four pistons tend to vibrate and they start to, you run out of brake quicker, seems like. It, you really, you know, by the time you made that hard stop from 80 plus and then if you ever need to get back on them again they're done they're they're faded you, you you got a spongy pedal for a while after that with the six pistons it does that with with ease i have no issues going from real hard to you know damn near stopped from real fast feels great the next i can do that multiple times before i'm noticing fading the spongy pedal so that's another advantage to the six pistons and it's really really more of a racing brake caliper now you don't need it if you're just a daily driving car you know i mean the four pistons were good they were very good and when they're right they right but the six pistons are just a little bit better a little bit better and not on braking distance but on other stuff the peripheral stuff that matters when you're on the track those things are different and they're cool now also in my time I used to have Volkswagens, you know, I had a, uh, I had a Golf, I had a bunch of Bugs, a bunch of air cool Volkswagens, and I had a Golf and an Audi, but I didn't mess with the Audi. Um, my Golf, I upgraded the brakes. Now, what I did with that Golf was I took Wheelwood Pistons, which were the, pretty much the same size as stock, okay? They were four pistons, just like the stock cal or the stock cal was one piston. But they were four pistons, and they reload. They give you a, a a bigger rotor, and then a relocation to uh, make it bigger. So what you do, you put the wheel woods on first. You just replace your caliper with the wheel woods, right? And you know the wheel woods are lighter. Dynalite two was the name of the caliper, and it's a little bit lighter. feels feels better than stock, right? Because the one piston stock is just trash. But the four piston wheel woods felt better. Then I got the extendo, which gives you a bigger rotor and they give you an extension to mount the caliper further away from the hub so that it matches the rotor. Now, when you do that, all you're getting as the advantage is the modulation. It's so much easier to control the amount of brake force you're delivering to those rotors. That was the only difference I really felt. I didn't feel the difference in fade. I didn't, because I was, that was a four cylinder, so it, it really wasn't, I wasn't doing crazy things with that car. It wasn't that fast. It wasn't forced induction. So I was not really pushing it to the limit. But I did notice that it gave me a much better modulation where I could control that brake pedal way easier, way better. And I mean, that's really the only advantages you're getting out of a big brake kit besides the damn looks i mean when you're filling up a big wheel with a big beautiful colorful caliper like i said you can't beat the look you cannot beat the look and i mean i i'm i'm a i'm a form under function guy i mean if it don't function i'm not putting it on my car i'm not i don't do the the stuff just to be looked at okay i do the stuff that has a purpose and will give me an advantage in the drive that's my main thing that's the kind of guy i am that's why my cars are not real flashy so i'm not trying to win a show based on flash okay i'm not i'm not even trying to win no show i just want to go and see everybody else's car but nevertheless i want my car to look good i want to turn around and look at it and be like damn that thing is fire and the big brake calipers are one of the nicest touches you can do to your car that really means something but there are others and uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do but anyway i just want to break that down now because i see a lot of people are wondering a lot of people really don't know the mechanics of brakes and how things really work so 
if I could be of a little help, I will. Thank you very much for watching and keep one of these hemis under your right foot at all times. This is the new shirt. This is the new shirt. So, say go ahead, cop one. It's on YouTube. But I got a store on YouTube. You can get anything you want. But we're going to uh, keep one under our right feet at all times.